Alrighty, Louis, welcome back to Bioshock Infinite. How's everyone doing? Uh, we finished the game previously, the main story campaign, whatever you want to call it. Um, and I'm going to do some downloadable content, some DLC today. Uh, Clash in the Clouds is actually just kind of like an arena mode type of thing where you just defend against enemies uh, or just like basically survive. Uh, it's okay, but it's not really much of a, a DLC in my opinion. It's okay though. Um, but what we will be doing is Burial at Sea Episode 1 and Episode 2. So let's jump straight into it. Hopefully I won't get copyright struck for uh, some of this because I know that um, a few of them... Uh, there's like a few very like big songs that are in this uh, as well. But um, hopefully we won't get copyright struck or anything but yeah let's do uh let's do easy just uh so we can kind of explore and have fun with it instead of making it so much of a challenge so yeah let's jump in let's do it <clears throat> do it investigations the moment she came in my office i knew nothing was something 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 i missed it <laughs> Of course, we can t press in to help navigate to our current objective, just like in the previous uh, playthrough. <coughs> We're closed. You don't look the sort who can afford to turn down legitimate work. What do you want? How about we start with a light? Alright, we're in control now. Uh, we can go kind of explore this whole area. Oh, search duffel bag, actually. Yeah, let's do it. Um, yeah, there you go. I have to take all... Gotta get back used, used to the um, control controls again, rather. So bear with me just a little bit here. Uh, looks like all that stuff's there. We'll, we'll give her a light in here in just a second. I just want to make sure I have gotten everything here. And kind of look around a little bit as well. Alright, I think we're ready. Let's do it. You gotta name this. Elizabeth. You can call me Elizabeth. What can I do for you? There's a girl who needs to be found. Maybe you've seen her. This girl. This girl's dead. You know her. You'll see dozens of her type down by the docks or the slums in Apollo Square. Orphans. With Fontaine's charity shut. No place for them. But her you know. As I said, the girl's dead. Lost. Look, I don't know where you get... Lost isn't dead. Name your radar will pay you for this work. You'd do this one gratis, wouldn't you? I don't follow. Something tells me you will. <laughs> okay. Well, I guess let's go out then. Let's see what Elizabeth knows about Sally. Alright. Let's open the door. <clears throat> no gods or kings, only man. Mark Seems my straight. instincts were correct. Where's Sally? I don't know. But I know someone who does. Follow me. Alright, uh, Sander Cohen, wife and ass, it's greatest album yet. Oh, hello. It's a whale. Oh, actually, let me double check, there's nothing up here that I missed. Okay, search the trash can, no. Okay, I'm just chilling. Alright, never mind. Let's head down then. Rapture Tribune. What's this we'll girl? Turtles. What I need from her is my business. <coughs> I know where to start looking. Something tells me a man with your particular talents could be useful. Alright, uh... We can definitely just kind of look around a little bit here. Got a lullaby. Hello. Got some papers. Rot informer department show us. Sorry, yes. okay. Hello. The guy's... An autograph. Okay, calm down, buddy. We're good. Please use the other door. If we were all made from common clay, then Einstein would have remained a patent clerk. It's our responsibility to strive. Here, here. 
Ooh, what is that? Oh, there's like macaroons. Let's go. I thought they were like donuts or something for a second, but yeah, pretty close. Oh, I heard of <clears throat> little friend. Such a shame. Okay. It looks so sad. Who me? Little wonders. Educational facility. Okay. It's almost a matter of time before Ryan's ghouls round up anybody talks bad about him. I mean, just look what happened to Frank Fontaine. Hmm. Okay. Uh. What, what is this one? These children. What are they? Where have you been? Cabin in Arcadia. Stop, Little sisters. Adam factories. It's grotesque. Yeah, it's kind of weird. What does this guy hey, say? Keep moving, buddy. Okay. What's this place? Oh, right. Okay. Let's move on then, I guess. Compromise? Is that why we came to Rapture? Jet postal. Come on. We haven't got all day. Huh. Okay. Oh, hello. Nice, got like a grapple hook, let's go. Those guys are from the first and second Bioshock games, I think. Otherwise it's just a knee-jerk response from the uninformed. Yeah, true. Does more harm than good. We can search the new mo. Okay. Search bag. Benevolence isn't human nature. Everyone wants to have the tallest flower. Let's move on and kind of keep searching, keep exploring. Art, science, industry. We can go ahead and inherit the earth for all I care. I'm fine right here in Rapture. All right. Oh, nice. We can go in here. Let's check it out then. What's this place? Wait. The hostage sees you. He'll toss you out on your ass again. Oh, okay. Got some missing children, it seems. <clears throat> All right. You say that we're funny. What? You're not knowing about the little sisters. How long have you been in Rapture? Let's just say I don't get out much. You've got eyes and ears, don't you? If I wanted to share my life story, Mr. DeWitt, I would write my memoirs. If I learned anything about Rapture, that it was a place where people understood to mind their own business. Where are we headed? The man we need to see is in the Garden of the Muses. How do you know? My sources are my own, Mr. DeWitt. If you have better information as to the whereabouts of your girl, I suggest you avail yourself of it. Hmm. Okay. Let's go in, I guess. Is it going to auto-start, or do we have to press... Oh, yeah, press the button. There we go. Perfect. Let's get it. Where are you taking me? When's the last time you saw Sally? What? She was taken from you, wasn't she? How do you know this? She was taken. Down at Surprise. You were playing the tables, and... She disappeared. And? A cop friend of mine, Sullivan, says they found her floating in the docks. You see the body? Look. Did you see the body? This world values children, not childhood. There's a profit to be made, and men who make it. I'm taking you to one of them. Mr. DeWitt, you all right? I'm fine. I just get these spells sometimes. It'll pass. All right. <clears throat> Refreshments, sir. Madam? We're fine, thanks. Nope. All right. Teleporting, dude. Okay. Want some ice? Um, all right, where are we headed? Meet Elizabeth's contact. I guess let's just go ahead and go straight to it. I'm not going to be doing so much like exploring every little nook and cranny unless you guys are interested in that. Mr. DeWitt. But we'll I did that in the main story. So. That club. There we go. What does that lunatic have to do with Sally? Enter Cohen's. Alright, let's do it. These guys. Private party. No entry without invitation. We'll see about that. Alright. Knock on door.
Which business do you represent, sir? Uh, business? Yes, which business? DeWitt Investigations. Mr. Cohen does not truck with private detectives. Masks of invitation went to artists and craftsmen alone. I'm with the artist struggle. We're expected. No mask, no entry. Stuffed shirt. These invitation masks he spoke of, they must have gone out to local artisans. Well, I guess we'll have to persuade someone to loan us one. Mm, the business of like... Rapture is business. It says it's sponsored by the artist struggle, the Golden Rule, and Rapture Records. I guess those stores would be as good a place to start as any. All right, let's check them out. Obtain a mask from a local shop owner. Oh, looks like there's three local stores that you might have received invitations that might have received invitations to Cohen's Club. You can choose your current objective from the objective screen. Press M to access it. All right. <clears throat> the golden rule. Uh, I mean, we'll just go top the bottom, I guess. So yeah. Let's go to the first one. What brought you to Rapture? A man. Really? You don't strike me as the romantic type. Wasn't that kind of man. Then what? There's a debt that needs repaying. I've known my share of Shylocks. You're no Shylock. Wasn't that kind of debt. All right. Invitations to Cohen shows are <clears throat> highly coveted. Nobody's gonna just hand us one. You think you can figure out a way to distract the store owner while I take a look around? You just find the mask. Leave the distractions to me. All right. Good day to you, sir. Hello. Speak to shop Excuse owner. me. Lady has some questions for you. Yes, of course. I'm interested in this piece. Ah, excellent. You've an eye, haven't you, miss? It's a natural sapphire and diamond, 18 carat gold ring, fully hallmarked for Paris, 1887. That's a lot of fine talk about a stolen ring. I beg your pardon? Right out of her coffin in Twilight Fields. Did you think we wouldn't notice? <laughs> Cohen sends those masks the out of some kind of box. The of a grave robber are of no interest. You hand the ring back, the matter will remain between you and me. I don't think so. Hit the prick, you Open mask box. Okay, nope. Somewhere else. Got money for it, though. Get your hands off me! Hmm. Might be best if we were gone when he wakes up. <laughs> Any luck? Nothing. Let's find another shop. Right, let's move on to another one then. Where should we look next? Rapture Upstairs Records. Upstairs at the artist struggle <clears throat> or Rapture Records straight ahead? Might as well do Rapture Records. Uh, is it this way? Oh, yeah, through here, okay. Guten Tag. Hello. Herr Schmidt. Herr Schmidt. Okay. Alright, let's try Rapture Records. Oh, look at this place. That's kind of cool. Hello. Wait, what's that? Oh, okay. Well, that looks kind of nice. All right, there's a piano here. Strike key. Hmm. All right. Well, let's talk to the shopkeeper. Is shop that owner. Dish I walked in with. <coughs> you give it a start treatment, pal. It'll make it worth your while. Of course, right away. What is this piece? It's by Trinet, but of course, covered by Mr. Ryan. What's Gotta that? find that bar. Nothing. Well, only one place left. Alright, not much in here, it seems. Can pluck the strings. That's cool. Um. Yeah, I think we're good here. Oh, it's. I must go. I must go. Even one more note shall prove my undoing. <laughs> All right. Nothing there. Nothing. No. <coughs> Got one place left, though. And if that proves to be fruitless? We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Indeed, indeed. Ooh. Can we go in here? Oh, we can. What's this place, then? Oh, hello. 
Oh, we got an audio log. Okay, let's check this out. Su Chang observed strangest of coincidences. On the other side of a window, man in strange hat experimenting on Su Chang's own creation. On plasmid. Man name of Fink. Outrage! Death of intellectual property! <sighs> But, man name of a thing is no fool. Through addition of oxidizing agent, turns plasmid ingestible through stomach lining. Mr. Ryan very impressed with Su Chong's initiative. Theft of intellectual Let's property. Hmm. Alright, anyways. Uh, need to know theater. Let's check this out. <coughs> Taking out the taint... Sorry, taking the taint out of Fontaine. Are you in the know? You've doubtlessly sampled products from Fontaine Futuristics. But do you know why Ryan Industries saved it? Frank Fontaine, business leader and benefactor of mankind? Or was he the best friend the parasite ever had? Were you aware his businesses were a front for a smuggling ring? And were you also fooled by his supposed charity work? At his free clinic, patients became test subjects, and his orphanages were places that children disappeared into and never came out. Once they learned the truth, Rapture's Central Council called for the arrest of Fontaine Futuristic's owner. But a coward to the end, Fontaine found a hail of bullets preferable to facing justice. The council asked that Ryan Industries assume the burden of stewardship of Fontaine's ill-gotten assets. And Andrew Ryan accepted that burden for the people of Rapture. Now all citizens can enjoy these products, free of criminal taint. Plasmids. Now you know. Huh, interesting. <clears throat> Alright. Now we know. Uh, uh, let's see, what else is there? I didn't even realize there's a guy up top there. That's kind of cool. Alright, uh, anything else that is of use up here? Eve, okay. Why are you wasting your time on that one? Who, me? Alright, search the artist's struggle. Gallery. Hey, pal. You want to help out the little lady? Yes, of course. Interesting, isn't it? The original Sander Cohen. He calls it my asthma. I'm sorry, but I know precious little about art. How does it make you feel? I don't want to open my There's mouth for fear of what foolishness might tumble out. <laughs> Would you like me to tell you what you want? Oh, would you? Oh, I would like so much to understand. There you are. There we go, we got one. Nice. Return to Cohen's. You have given me so much to think about. I I feel a trifle swoony. Would, would you mind if, if I return tomorrow for further education? I shall be here at your service. Until tomorrow. Alright, kinda creepy, but alright, let's move on. We got it this time, so that's good. Good. You've located the mask. I Don't have indeed. Alright, <laughs> it's best we head back to Cohen's. Alright, let's head back then. I think it was down this direction. Oh, Find search. Find work back with those shopkeeps. You've got a bit of the grifter in you. For that you can thank my father. Oh yeah? He was a man comfortable in a variety of roles. How was Ryan <laughs> Alright, <clears throat> we have the mask, so we should be good to go now. Knock on door. Enter the club. Ah, very well. Mr. Cohen awaits your participation at his performance. Alright, let's do it. Talk to Sander Cohen. Who's so who is this fellow Cohen? Some sort of underworld figure? Worse. He's an artist. An artist who kidnaps children. Cohen's muse is a bit more diverse. I've seen his type. 
gets an idea in his head, end of conversation. Don't matter who gets hurt. Sure, rabbits, bunnies, or something. Be the conduit. Open yourselves to the music, to the spirit of the eternal. All right. Oh, why do you fail in this fashion? To embarrass me in front of my muse? My muse shall not be mocked. Fitzpatrick, please. The stick. Better for God's sake. <laughs> My muse shall not be mocked. Dang. Get them out of here. There shall be no failure on my canvas. That's messed up. Oh, there's no room in rapture anymore for the artist. Speak to Cohen. All right, let's try it. Who are you? Name's DeWitt. Is that right? My... <laughs> this one's a real biscuit. Isn't he a biscuit, lady? I need to ask you a few questions. Questions? Yes. Yes. It is the work of man to ask. It is the work of the artist to answer. You've seen this girl, haven't you? We artists see more than most. You are more than you claim to be, little songbird. Are you not? Watch this one, DeWitt. She'll take you where you don't want to go. But I know the child in that photo is important to you. So many children flit, flit, flit away. And I will send you to her in exchange. All I ask is a dance. What? I see something in you too. Art strips away artifice. Show me who you are. I mean, as long as you're not going to electrocute us. You where you need to go. Cold, son of a bitch. Mr. DeWitt. What? <sighs> Fine. Dance with me. I suppose. Come, come, dance! I shudder to think what greater price he might care to extract. Fitzpatrick! Beauty and pain. They can be no more separated than birth and blood. What do you think Cohen's customers do with the children? Do they? Sometimes. But those types like the capital of people like Ryan and Suchong. That's a blessing. You saw those little sisters? You so sure? But if Su Chong has Sally, I'd know it. How? Because I tied him to a chair and asked him. So? For 15 hours. I don't know what to make of you, Mr. DeWitt. No, 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 no! Listen, we're not gonna keep- Fitzpatrick! Ah! Ah! Here it is. <laughs> Shoulda known. <laughs> Fontaine Station. True to his word, Koyo po pointed us towards Sally. Now the only way what left to go was down. Oh, maybe he's helping us out, I guess? I don't know. Well, being electrocuted doesn't seem like a, a lot of help, but... Mr. DeWitt. Maybe it's the only way to smoke Mr. DeWitt. I don't know. <clears throat> Are you alright? I'm fine. You were dreaming. You kept saying your daughter's name, Sally. She's not my daughter. I thought... Cohen? I'm sending you to find your young one. 
Well, uh, I'm going to stop that episode here. Thank you guys for watching this first part here, uh, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.